so I purchased this little mat. I haven't opened it yet. Let me turn on the flash so you guys can see it from Amazon because I kept to my word and said that I was going to do 20 minutes for mobility purposes because I work at home and so I normally don't go anywhere on a daily basis. So I started to implement a 20 minute workout. <laughs> and at first, I started February the 1st. And I actually lost, I'll show you here on the screen, how much I've lost so far. And my problem is not eating, y'all. I don't have issues with portion control. I don't have issues with any of that stuff. Let me get some scissors. I pretty much can control what I eat. And I still use the app that I used a long time ago for, let me cut this off, tracking my calories. And I don't mind doing that. Like, I don't have an issue with tracking my calories so the only main problem with me is that I just I don't move a whole lot <laughs> I don't move a whole lot throughout the day so what I was gonna say is I started in February and it's been I want to say I started in February I might have started in January no, because I think I did a January video and I hadn't, I either started the last week of January because today we are March 1st. So it's been four weeks and I was starting to gain weight and I didn't want it to get out of control. So when I weighed myself, because I weighed myself before the first weight that I logged and then it didn't come up because we had changed our internet or something and it didn't come up. So I had to, so my husband had to do something with it. I guess this keeps it tight. Okay, we'll just put this right here for now. And so it didn't log my first week weight. Because I was already getting to like 145. So now I'm down to 136. So yeah, I mean, I've lost quite a bit of weight just by 20 minutes. I do it on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then if we're out doing stuff, then I don't really worry about doing 20 minutes like yesterday we went to the store to restock our stuff so i didn't really exercise yesterday because i thought well i'm already i i implemented the 20 minutes if i had a day where i had no mobility so i definitely want to be moving this is a pretty big mat really big so I do a lot of different things I don't follow a video or anything I mean I'm pretty much I've exercised my whole life I've ran I used to run two miles every day when I was in my 40s two miles every day so I started out with these little three pounders. I just implemented them like maybe I'm going on my second week, I think. Of I'm already out of breath and I just put this thing together. <laughs> Obviously you need more mobility. <laughs> but yeah, I started the little weights now. And I can kind of show you some of the exercises that I do I don't get too crazy with it but 
I'll do a few, just don't judge because sometimes I may not always follow the proper way of doing things. But I'm going to put it in fast mode and I'll do my 20 minutes in fast mode. If you want to watch it, if not, then just know that moving around even for 15, 20 minutes, going for a walk, running errands, just doing some sort of movement is going to help you. So let's go ahead and get our 20 minutes in.
Okay, so I just do a little bit of everything, y'all. This came with this, and I put it on there. Oh, you know what? It goes on each end. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't take a lot. You can do what's within your limits. And like the jumping jacks, if you want to do them, just the motion for your, as you begin to work out, then you definitely can do that. Like modify as you need to. That's neat. I'll link this down below. I like it. I guess you could carry it like that. <laughs> but yeah, I made a commitment to myself that as long as I was going to work at home, that I needed to go ahead and try to incorporate some mobility. I am tired after that workout. Like I need water. But just get your heart rate going. And like I said, I use that app and I use my scale and I weigh myself every week. I don't weigh myself every day. Like I don't want to do that to myself because there are days that I eat more than other days. Look, my little cheeks are red. <laughs> so... And even if my husband wants to go walk this afternoon, I'll go. Because as much mobility as I can get in, I try 
to get in. So, yeah, you can't let people disrupt you. Just like when my husband came in, I just kept going, you know, well, I was talking to him, but I kept going because you can't stop. Like once your heart, once you've warmed up, like that's what I do. I warm up, I exercise, and then I cool down. But I do try to get myself a little racing heart. So I just wanted to show you that, Matt. Show you that I did start my mobility goal to get more movement in. Like I said, Monday, Tuesday, I take Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday, and then usually we're doing something on the weekend. So even if we're not, I give myself those three days to rest out of seven. So I do four and three. And it's working because I've lost weight. Like I said, food has never been my issue. I don't deprive myself either. I drink Cokes. I think the only thing I really did try to give up was sugar. Like I don't eat as much sugary candy as I used to. We try to get things that are sugar free or, um, you know, that the fiber intake is there and the alcohol sugars because that you can take off the sugar, the grams of sugar in the overall sugar grams but yeah um that app that i used i bought it the first year and then i realized i could use it without buying it and now they're limiting more and more each day what i can use it for so i don't know if i'll continue to use that one i like that i could scan the bars on my food and it come up but now that requires purchase of the app so I, I have used it for years, like since I started losing weight in 2013. And coincidentally, that's why my YouTube account is named Shrinking Ruts because I started at 163 and got down to 128. Wasn't comfortable at 128. Felt I would be more comfortable at 132, 135. And I'm pretty close to reaching my goal, so I'm really excited. Okay, I'm about to take a shower now because we went for a walk too today. But my advice to you would be don't overwhelm yourself. Like do what you can. That's why I started with 20 minutes because I'm like, I do not want to burn out so soon. And here we are in March and I'm still going strong. So I'm not real sure if it was February 1st or January 1st that I started but I know it was the first of one month. But either way, I saw myself slowly losing a pound or two every week. And that's what you want to do. You progressively want to lose weight. You don't want to lose all this weight and then your body try to catch up. And so I think exercising too helps with any of the sagginess that might happen through weight loss. But Anyway, we're back from our walk. I'm about to take a shower. And I just wanted to share all of this with you all. I'm hoping that I can keep it up for the rest of the year. I'm definitely going to try because it's not asking a lot of myself. Four days out of seven is not bad to have at least some mobility. It's good for my cholesterol. It's good for my heart for me to have more activity than I've had in the past year or more that I've been working at home. I've been working at home since 2019, so it's been a good five years that I just didn't really have much mobility and I definitely saw it in my health. So I wanna get back to a place where I'm comfortable, something I can do as I'm getting older. I wanna have good habits, but I don't wanna have habits that are going to burn a fuse so I think also give yourself grace if you weren't able to work out one day or you eat bad just pick up the next day and start again so anyway thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye mm -hmm.